Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 18th in a series of video tutorials for Unity 5. So our last episode we've been building our little title screen that we've got right here. Uh, this episode we're going to be looking at a bit of animation for it by using a script. Uh, we'll be looking at importing some uh, assets and a new type of asset in there as well. And if we have time, uh, we'll do a little bit of the GUI which we'll use for our buttons on the menu. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is create a script which kind of rotates our title screen a little bit. So, first off, uh, let's see, best thing to do, if you remember, we have this cube with the main camera inside, and it points in a pretty nice direction at our center focus, which was the tree. So let's create a script. So go to your scripts folder down here, uh, right click, create JavaScript, and let's see, what we'll call this one is title rotate. And in we go to the script, and as always, Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever one you are most comfortable with. So, as always, with every script we've done so far, when it's loaded up, we will just get rid of um, everything it's already got, because we'll start from scratch, I always like to. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to rotate the object that this script is attached to, so it's virtually the same sort of script that we used on our coins. So, it's a function, and update, open close bracket, and then open curly bracket. And the line we're going to use is transform dot rotate, and the numbers we're going to put are rather small. First one zero, so that's x. We want to rotate on the y-axis, but I'd like to do this quite slowly, so I'm going to put zero point. Um, in fact, zero point zero three. I think we'll have. We'll see what that looks like. Um, and the z or z-axis is also zero. And you'll need to put space dot world in there. Close bracket, semicolon, and then close curly bracket, and save your script. Really is that simple. So now we've got that, drag and drop your title rotate on the cube, not on the tree itself, on just the cube. So on it goes. It's attached there. So hopefully, when we press play now, it should rotate around our tree. And it does. So you should see it now rotating around the tree very slowly. So if you wanted it faster, you could set it as, say, 0 0.3. Save. And press play. And you should see it rotating faster. So the higher the number, the faster it rotates around the tree. But for kind of effect, I'll keep it at 0.03. If you're having problems, as always, this script is available on our website. Uh, head over there and you can just download it and put it in yourself. Okay, next thing, let's bring in some audio into our scene. So if we go to Game Object and let's go to, in fact, Create Empty. And let's call this Empty Game Object, uh, let's simply call it um audio object and what i'm going to do is to ensure that it's kind of center of wherever we are rotating to i'm going to drag and drop it onto main camera so you'll see we've kind of got a very parent and child thing going on here they all follow down underneath that tree so now zero out the position x y z c whatever and let's go to audio and let's bring in this title screen here and same with the script it's available on the website for free or you can feel free to use your own audio it is entirely up to you there's you don't have to go and download this you can use whatever audio you want this is just something we've created just for um tutorial purposes and just drag and drop it onto the audio object so now let's um, ensure a few options here are just right. Uh, we want to loop it. Uh, make sure we do have a play on awake is ticked. Um, let's reduce the volume a touch. Let's have just 
0.19 for now. Uh, everything else looks fine. So hopefully when we press play, it should rotate and play the music. And it does. So I'm quite happy with that. Next thing we're going to do is let's bring in a new type of asset. So on your assets, uh, right click, uh, create folder, and we're going to bring in a font. So I'm just going to call this folder fonts. And this one uh, I've chosen just from a quick Google search. This font, it's called Iron Lung. Uh, by all means, you can use whichever font you want. Uh, by default, I think Unity only brings in Arial. Um, I'm not aware of it bringing in any others, to be honest. But as I say, um, you can go onto Google to bring in any font you want into Unity. As long as it's an asset, you can use it in the game. So what we'll do now is I'm going to make a, a quick and simple logo. Uh, game object, UI, and let's do text. Now we've used this canvas before, if you remember in previous tutorials, when we have put together our uh, quest system. So in this case, I'm going to double click and bring it so I can actually see a bit better. Now I want to anchor this text uh, kind of at the top. So click your anchor button and then this one just here. And let's change the position to 000. zero, zero. And let's use this great little tool at the end here just to kind of bring it to where we want it to be. So maybe about there, I think. So you can call it whatever your game's called. I'm just simply going to call this Jimmy's Adventure. Nice and simple. And down here, you'll see the Arial font. It really is a case of dragging and dropping that font straight onto here. It changes it to whatever we've brought in. In this case, Iron Lung. So I'm going to change the colour to white, so it's a bit more visible. Uh, let's have it centre, and centre again. Uh, let's change the font size, let's see. We need it fairly big, so let's have this as maybe 50. In fact, that's still too small. I think I'm going to have this as 100. Nice and big. So let's stretch this out a touch to about there and make sure it's centre. Yep, that looks fine. And let's keep the colour white for now and press play. So there we are, Jimmy's Adventure and our rotating title screen. So should I animate this? Yes, I tell you what, let's, let's animate this um, title just a little bit. So on your text, make sure that's selected. Let's go to animation. Uh, hit the record button and uh, let's call this uh, title font animate. And all I'm going to do is just change a bit of the color just so as it kind of maybe gives a bit of a shimmery kind of effect. So on zero, uh, let's put the color as so make sure that's definitely white. I'm going to keep that white. And as we're using 60 samples per second or 60 frames per second, I'm going to go to, let's say, the third second, which would be 180. And I'm going to change the colour to um, maybe kind of a bluish colour. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, sample 360. And I'm going to change it to maybe a kind of greenish sort of colour. That looks just fine. And let's go, um, so we need to cycle this around now, I'm just have them two colours. So we need to do another 180 frames. So 180 frames on top of that is 540. And it needs to be cycled back to white. So now over the course of about nine seconds, it should go from white to blue to green and then back to white. So you can see it's gone from white to blue. Now it should hopefully go to green 
and back to white. So it just gives a little bit of extra kind of animation to our title menu. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we need to create some GUI which gives us buttons to click. So let's go to our scripts folder, right click, create, JavaScript, and let's simply call this um, title buttons. And let's head into the script. Once again, delete everything it gives you. And it's not too complicated, this. Um, it shouldn't take us too long to write. Um, we need function on, uh, oops, that's lowercase n, GUI, uh, open close bracket, and then open curly bracket. And we need to do an if statement. So if open bracket GUI dot um, button. And then we can we use the next um, little bit to kind of create our button. So let's have it as a rectangle, so rect. And then we need to define where it actually is in our scene. So we want it kind of maybe sort of centerish and in the right place. <clears throat> so let's have um, screen dot width divided by two and minus uh, let's say fifty. Let's see how that turns out. And then we need to do the height. So screen dot height divided by two. Um, I think that should do actually. I don't think we need to minus anything there. And then the size would be 100 by 30. So then we need to close that. And now we need to define what this button will say. So let's simply call it in quotes play game. Uh, close the quote there, double bracket, sorry, double close bracket that one is, and then we need to open curly bracket. So what the next line will be is if we've clicked this button we've just created that says play game, we need to do this particular action. And in this case we're going to have application dot load level and in brackets put the number one. Now at the moment this means nothing, even if you tried to run this script it would mean nothing in Unity. We have to define that ourselves which we'll do in just a second. Um, and then semicolon and then close curly bracket and then finally close curly bracket to finish off our function. So now save. Let's head back into Unity. Um, let's create a new game object, uh, create empty, and let's call this object, um, what can we call it? Let's call this title buttons object. So now we just need to drag and drop our title buttons script onto this object, and there it is. Now let's press play, and hopefully we get a button right there called play game. So if we click that button now, we should get an error down here. As you can see, it couldn't be loaded because it's not been added to the build settings. Now, what that means is that you have to kind of compile your game a little bit. Before we do that, we're going to add one quick thing to our function just here. We also want a second button that allows us to quit the game. So just uh, in the middle of your two closed curly brackets, we need to write another if statement, which in fact we'll copy what we've already written rather than type out again, and we'll change a few parameters in that. So we need it to be a uh, rectangle screen width divided by 2 uh, minus 50, that needs to be the same. Um, in fact, the screen dot height will need to add, let's say, let's try 40, because um, so we need it to kind of be below uh, this one here, so we need to kind of bring it down, but you'll, you'll see in just a second. Uh, 130, keep that the same, and instead of play game, we'll call this quit game. And what we'll do here is instead of application.load level, 
we simply need application dot quit and then open close bracket and semicolon and then finally we close curly bracket and save that script so now when we press play again we should see play game and quit game and as we discovered if we click play game we come up with this error saying it's not added to build settings if we click quit game it doesn't actually do anything because what it's trying to quit is the application not the game engine itself so when we build the game that quit button will actually work but we'll probably get around to that in the next episode so before we go let's finish up with this we've got saying needs to be added to build settings so let's go to file and go to build settings you'll be presented with this screen right here and where it says uh, scenes in build add current on make sure you're first of all on your title screen and click on add current and it'll bring this in here and you'll notice this number zero just here so let's save and let's load up area 001 which is our main area that we've been spending most of our time in let's go back to the build settings and click on add current and then close in fact before we do close just quickly point out there that title screen is still in there and area 01 is in there and area 001 now has that number one just there so if you remember where we've put application.load level one it now refers to area 001 because we've defined it here so let's save that yet again and then if we head back to our title screen um, when we press play now what should happen is we will get where we've had before everything there clicking quit game still obviously won't do anything however when we click play game now it will load up area 001 now you will notice at this point when you load up um, a level in this respect the lighting is kind of broken um, don't worry it's it, it's nothing you've done it's nothing wrong it appears to be a bug in unity itself um, when you build a project um, and create a standalone version of it that won't happen but we'll get around to that in our next episode so until then, you carry on building up your title screen, you do what you want, bring in your own fonts, bring in your own sounds, uh, change your buttons to what you want them to say, and just keep going and play with Unity. So uh, until the next episode, thank you very much for watching.